Hey everybody, T-Man978, the channel where you won't be looking at this box for three minutes straight. FT-52 Aussie from Fans Toys. It's supposed to be Transformers Generation 1 Outback. He is a massive retool of Fans Toys Hunk. It comes with this gun for Megatron. Look at that. Look at that. I don't have the batteries. It lights up red. That's all it does. And I'll, I'll go into more detail on that. All right, inside the packaging, as per norm, you get your nice instruction booklet. Good quality. They actually have a YouTube channel where they show the instructions. You get a collector's card right here. Credit card quality. You get his blaster right there. The small cannon sort of looks like Megatron's cannon. It can transform like that for the vehicle mode. You get a secondary face. That's a little bit more happy. Yay, happy. And you get this cannon right here for Hunk to use for that time he knocked the Megatron's cannon off. Or you can actually attach this to MP36 Megatron. Uh, what you need to do is slide this up off, pull this out, and then there are batteries that you can put in there. The batteries are L626 or LR66. And I think there's one more name that it can be. I don't have any of those. But once you do that, guess what? It will light up and look like that. I'll bring Megatron in here later to show you me put it back on, but yeah. Now this guy, as per the norm, you gotta do some stuff before you can even enjoy the figure. <sighs> For some reason, the legs are fully extended and backward. You need to detach that. There are two pegs right here that are stuck in these two peg holes. Yes, it's hard to get out at first. Rotate the legs. And me personally, I don't, I don't like that look. I guess that was a look in the show at some point. But what I do is, you can, you can do two things. You can put it all the way up till it's condensed by all the way back there. I don't like that. It limits his articulation, so I just bring it out to that point where it's almost to the top, but yeah. Now we can actually plug this back in. These were not clipped, so I had to force that into there. Force it into there. And this thing right here is spent around, but now, there we go. But here he is. And his robot mood. Here is what he looked like on the cartoon. Or at least one time on that one episode. Okay, there you go. You, you seen it? There you go. Well, <laughs> here's what it looks like right now. He has a ton of differences from Braun or Hunk. I'm saying this must be diecast because I see paint scraped off already. My Q QC person is number 33. I don't know why I'd be leaving these on. Oh boy, normally they detach or they come off very easy. That one to rip because I was doing it on camera. Here's the backpack, substantial, cartoon accurate. This stuff right here, cartoon accurate because they went with a more toy accurate look to him. Even as far as having like part of the doors right there on the shoulder. And they painted this that color, even though I think the actual toy was had all silver arms and they had weird hands. Uh, you see how the fist looks right there? The fingers open up. You can just you slide this in like that. Instead of the typical fan toys method. So he can actually still open the fingers. So here he is with the gun. And here I'm going to try to pose him. And yeah, let's get into this articulation. This head is on a separate hinge. You can do this, but it bumps into these transformation hinges. Even though it's on a separate hinge, I cannot for the life of me get it to rotate so my head is stuck like kind of looking off to the left i even took off the face which you just pull forward 
and I unscrewed that, I can see that it's on like a like a T-shaped joint, so that the head should be able to rock back and forth, but it's so close to, let's, let's move this back, or spin that around, it's so close right there, you ain't getting no RJ lacing out of that, and I've tried everything trying to turn that, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to break it before I do it, but my head is permanently stuck, slightly looking to the right. But before we put that back on, let's go ahead and put his more happier face. There you go. So that's what he's working with as far as the head. It doesn't look up at all. It doesn't look down once you have the actual face on there. The arm rotates like this, goes out like that. You can use that as extra articulation since it's not wanting to stay tabbed too well. You get that. You get this, the hand rotates, and you saw me open the fingers. The waist rotates that much. It could rotate more if you bring the legs down to be ugly, or maybe you just want to do it for the pose you want because you got these flaps right here that get out the way, and maybe you want more of his thigh shilling when he's kicked out. So that's one good reason to bring the leg down, but up here all the way up it looks like that it's still forward but now you have this completely covering it and halfway out it's looking like eh it's almost still on the same level wait wait let me get it super deeper halfway there we go it's looking like that but when i bring brawn out here in robot mode I'll see how tall he is and I'll try to make it match. But we got that. We got the thigh rotation. And then the toe is on a whole separate hinge. So the toe has like infinite freaking ankle pivot. And we got this little thing as a heel. I can't really say it's too great as a heel. But it's there and it's working. So robot mode. Basic AF. I got to take massive amounts of points off because he has like damn near zero head articulation. I'm pretty sure my copy probably has some type of glue or some crap in there. And I need to like loosen that up before it work. But I shouldn't have to do all that. I'm doing this review right now. And maybe the next review you watch, they won't even have this head rotating problem. But I can't see them having more up and down motion than that. So there's that. There are so many differences. It's nuts. And they are pretty much the same height with the way I have the hips. So I'm going to leave it like that. Number one, the legs completely, completely 100% different. The feet, feet are completely different. The wheels are the same or the actual tires. Yeah, the whole wheel is the same. And they have some of the same parts in there but completely a new shell as far as the legs because the legs don't mimic each other like at all the crotch everything just about everything the arms are different the hands are the same it's only sharing like a certain amount of parts really but everything just about has been retooled like even the sculpting right here and in there is different so minimal things are the same and apparently looking at this packaging again there's a piece of articulation i didn't realize this thing has as an ankle pivot right there and not just relying on this toe but it's not a great ankle pivot it's making both halves move just like this guy did but yeah, there's that. Let's get his widest stance possible with both feet flat on the floor. Glenn Webb. And this gun, it has a button right here that you can push. That's what makes it light up. This doesn't function and yeah. This right here rotates. So we can actually put this in his, his hand like that. And have him hold it. 
on the shoulder. Let's rotate the hand. Come on. Hand. Work with me. Work with me, hand. Here we go. So now, you can get into this pose. I can't get the arm in front of him because his arms aren't lo long enough. And he doesn't have any type of butterfly joint. But that's good enough right there. Here's Megatron, let's give you that size comparison. Right there, so they are definitely like mini bots. But um here's the size difference between this cannon and this cannon. Quite a bit small, so if you thought this was too big, there you are. A reminder on how to remove this, slide it back some and then lift that off. My dumb ass was trying to slide it on like this. And then I was like, why can't I get this on? Because you're supposed to start here. And then... <laughs> come on, you. Start in the middle and then come down. Bruh. Did I get it stuck? Yeah. Get it as close to here as possible. And then I'm going to slide that forward. And this slides in like that. But here he is with a smaller cannon if you don't want him to have a gigantic cannon. There you are. Yay. <laughs> or actually. Here's a comparison with some official Masterpiece Transformers and some other third party Fans toys, actually. So, there you are with that. I have a whole playlist on third parties, KO, and I have an official Masterpiece playlist if you don't know who these characters are, but you should know. Come on. Come on. Last minute afterthought ad. I brought this guy in here, but forgot to, to actually show him in the video. Here is Bad Cube's version. The proportions, completely off. They mostly wanted this to look like brawn, but this is what you're working with to be honest with you this guy has better articulation he has double jointed elbows like double jointed knees I don't think you can actually use it but his head can turn left he can turn right and look up the problem is the plastic plastic is crap and it just feels like crap compared to this that's that's the one the one deal with this <laughs> there's zero die cast in here as well so yeah not a bad figure but i never like you can watch my review on it i'm pretty sure it's it still holds up with my current day thoughts i believe i said this but let me say it again this dude is a generic generic action figure oh boy when going into this just know that he will not be all that exciting. He's just somebody you buy and you put with your other characters because you want all the dudes. But he looks good. He looks like the cartoon. And he just has the generic articulation. Mine, like I said, has the problem with the head. The head articulation sucks. As we can see here, he can still hold bronze gun because they have the same type of connection and vice versa. But, uh, yeah, he, he, he just eyed in, in robot mode. Nice paint. It feels good. Um, only a, mm, some stuff feels iffy, like it might get loose if I keep messing with it. But the joints are mostly tight and too tight. Paint is good. Yeah, it, it, it looks good. It, it, does, it fits the part. Okay, trans... For Mason, I'm gonna remove this gun out the hand and push that handle up. Now we're going to rotate the arms that way. Rotate the arms that way so that the white is on the outside. And we're going to rotate this 180. Rotate that 180. 
back here we can detach this from there um you know what i'm gonna do i'm going to rotate this shoulder joint back to here rotate this shoulder joint the die cast part back to there there's a lot of die cast in them even this hinge right here but that's thick die cast but we can open this up like this which will allow this to come free a bit you can wiggle 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 actually how can i show this off this piece right here needs to come come down get that down so we can start getting this part out to this angle and then we can rotate it and lift it up like that while bringing this down and we can rotate it like this at this point there's a hinge right there I'm gonna lift that up and back like this move this hinge up and back like this and to show the elbows can go ahead and peg together like that get everything straight make sure that we get this down and I like that and we can at this point pull these window pieces back and make it match up right here with there there's a little tiny peg that fits in there don't bring anything else down yet the legs can fully elongate out to the side and rotate at the hip they went out of their way to simplify this transformation from the hunk you can do that the foot the foot needs to or the toe needs to completely rotate up like that and then it can flip in like that if this is too tight we could detach it first and slightly unscrew that counterclockwise but basically have it in that position I'm gonna do that over here rotate the foot or toe and bring it out like that now we can detach this clip right here I'm gonna do that on both sides and we can oh wait wait before we split the leg we need to open this clip up right here the clip should be by this open hinge now we can bend that and when we bend that joint out of the way we can close this clip back but we start opening this this needs to rock back that hip joint needs to rock back and come forward basically like this in the disorientation don't close everything up yet let's do that process over here open this clip bend that out the way shut that and we can separate this while bringing this hip joint back and bending things into this orientation make sure these hands are straight but now i'm going to kind of like rock this hinge into this position like that You know what I forgot to do? This head needs to rotate. The whole box needs to rotate. And when you rotate that, you need to now rotate this down. And I knocked that face off somehow. I'll rotate that down. And we can start bringing this down over top of all this. And we can start squeezing the legs inward. Like push all that in. Squeeze this together. But come on, 
get that down. Once that gets down, this can go up under there. And this front piece right here needs to go behind this thing. Like that. And when we get that behind that, you can push this up to clip that into place. Back here, two tiny tabs that goes into tiny holes right there. Get that into there on both sides. We should be able to just get these two tiny tabs into the cavity right here. And once you do that on both sides, we can actually pull these little holes onto the tabs that are on his legs. And you're good to go. Now this guy is an SUV. We can finish the look by plugging this rounder piece right there into this hole on the top. Bam. Here he is in his off-road mood. Look at that. Since the tires are rubber, I can roll it fine on my slippery surface. Isn't that awesome? Full disclosure. I like to give full disclosure stuff. I'm filming this part of the review first because... This dude is already in truck mode, and I don't feel like transforming him and transforming him back. It's not a hard process, but I don't feel like doing it. This is what it looks like under here, fully enclosed. You have that cannon up here that he came with. This is the back. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Here's what it looks like without this. That's not a real tire. But it connects like this, and you can rotate it. But the peg is only but so good. If you don't want it to pop off, you have to push in while you're rotating. But yeah, great, great. Solid alt mode. Can't really complain about anything. It looks like the cartoon and I don't know how this door would actually function if this was real. It has this M on there just like the original toy. Ah, uh, it. I forget what that M stands for, but while I'm editing, I'm going to remember because I'm going to research and I'm going to put it on the screen right here for you to read. Anywho, let's bring in Hunk. The things that are different. These lights right here, different. The whole grill, different. In fact, like damn near the whole front of the car is different. The shape of this is rounder. That's not. It doesn't have that M. It's like pretty much the whole entire outer shell is retooled. Like maybe some things are the same, like this is the same, but this window right here is different. There's no little window back there. Maybe this rear part is the same, but you see that light right there or where the lights would be. It's an open peg while these are closed up pegs. Um, the bottom, different because their torsos are different. This doesn't have that gun storage, so they actually changed this one panel. So, yeah, cool. And you can't put this cannon right here because this is a regular tire with a pin in it. They have that gray paint there. They don't have the gray paint here. So, they're awesome, aren't they? They are. Here is my comparison dummy. It is longer right there, but of course taller. It's probably not as big as it should be because the Lamborghini isn't all that big. And here's what it's looking like next to you. A deluxe class car. So, yeah. There are always some weirdo that wants to see this stuff next to Chug for some reason. But anywho, this is great. Um, whatever I said about the robot mode, that's what I said about it. <laughs> and, and my opinion is not going to change. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I got this toy from Toy Dojo, if I don't mention that in the beginning of the video. But now that I'm saying it right now, I know I'm going to remind myself to do that. Toy Dojo. There's going to be a link in the description. If this guy isn't available, check their other stuff. 
Uh, they have good customer service as far as my experience with them. Anyway, and um, yeah, they usually have great to decent prices. And they offer a lot of things, so check them out. Things you think are out of stock, they might be in stock there. Give it a look. Anywho, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, T Man 978 out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos.